Okay, let me make sure that I understand what you're saying. Sam would lead me into situations where I would come into contact with Jake because she thinks he's mine. Yeah. That so-called picnic in the park, where you and Sam just happened to run into Elizabeth yeah. and Jake, completely orchestrated and designed to torture you. I'll bet right now other incidents, other chance meetings are colliding in your head. Let me guess. Let me guess. Sam would make a huge fuss over Jake right before shoving him into your arms. She meant to twist the knife. Because Sam cannot stand the idea that you had a son with Elizabeth. So the night Sam's show went on the air and you called me to come get her at the bar because she was drunk, that was... That was because she thought I was Jake's father? No, not thought, Jason. Knew. Sam was jazzed off the premiere's success. We've just gotten back from Manhattan. Sonny told us that you had found Elizabeth collapsed in her home. That you'd taken her to the hospital and that she'd almost lost the baby. Sam went to see Elizabeth to show her support and you were there. And Sam overheard me with Elizabeth. You're probably wondering why she didn't just confront you about it. I wondered the exact same thing. Then I realized she'd rather have the truth stay buried. The last thing Sam wants is for you to be a real and present father to your son. Why should I believe you? You hate Sam. You blame her for your father's death. Only because she was responsible. She tried to rob my father blind and put a pole through his chest when he had the nerve okay, to... Okay, I, I get that you're angry, okay? Obviously, you're invested in making Sam pay. You would do or say anything at this point. Your instincts play an important part in your line of work. One could surmise that the only reason that you're still alive, that means they're fine-tuned. Which tells me part of you already knows that I'm telling the truth. You knew before I got here, that's why you called me and not Sam. <laughs> but no problem. I'm happy to talk you through it. It's actually kind of a relief to get it out. According to Sam, the times that she set you up to see Jake were supposed to make you so uncomfortable that you would confess to being his father. In her mind, that was the only way that she could forgive you for keeping such a huge secret. You don't believe that? No. Sam fears, and maybe rightly so, that if the truth comes out about Jake, Elizabeth and Lucky's marriage will be over, and you and Elizabeth will end up together. Maybe not right away, but once you acknowledge that Jake is your son, it's not a stretch to think that his real parents would start to bond on a more profound level. If there's an underlying love, anything is possible. I get the impression that's the case with you and Elizabeth, the underlying love part. Sam can't stand that. She wants to hang on to you and your money and your protection. She's taking steps to ensure that she does. What kind of steps? Sam is planning to hire a surrogate to carry her egg and your sperm. That's right, Jason. Sam is going to hire a stranger to provide her with the one thing she thinks can make you finally marry her. Sam knows how I feel about this. I won't have a baby through a surrogate. Are you naive or obtuse? You probably don't want to call me names right now. Sorry, it's just a little baffling that you think that your consent matters to a woman who built five men out of hundreds of thousands of dollars and then shot and killed one of them. I don't know, maybe it's sweet that you're so trusting in the face of overwhelming evidence. Okay, uh, here goes. You and Sam sleep together, right? I'm sure that you use protection and that makes you feel safe. But to be blunt, all Sam has to do is gather some of your DNA and take it to a lab. Once the child is a reality growing inside a mommy for hire, are you really going to turn your back Sam on Sam wouldn't do something like that. Please. She is not the woman that you're describing. Take it from me. She is not the person you want to be the mother of your child. I know that this is a lot to process, but it's better. It's better that you know now before something irrevocable happens. You realize when I tell... I tell Sam all the things you said, she's going to walk out on you and the show. If you tell her. As for everyday heroes, shows come and go. We only get one father. Somehow I feel like I've just done right by mine. And who knows? Maybe it'll open the door for you doing right by your son.
respect the monkeys. Why? I wanted to gather information, since you won't give me any. What kind of information? Information about your arrest. Jason, Lucky says it's bad. He says that the police have got something and they've got enough to convict you. Oh, I ain't handling it. There's nothing you can do. What do you mean? You keep saying that. It's, it's true. No, I, I, I think there's always something someone can do who loves somebody when you're in trouble. I mean, the least you can do is believe in the future, but I don't want to do it alone. I want to know that you count on that, too. You know how I work. Just take things as they come. any of our problems. I get that. And look at Elizabeth and Lucky. What about them? What about them? I don't know. Last summer their relationship was pretty much over. I, I mean, he had this thing with, with Maxie and she turned to you. And they had a baby and they're happy and, they're, and their love for Jake cleared the way for them to fall back in love. Again, Jason, I just... I'm not going to give up until we have the same thing. <laughs> 